five tickets cost $174.45, and eight tickets cost $271.95, how much will 12 tickets cost? So first and foremost, let's make sure that, let's see if the cost of the tickets is the same and there are no additional fees. We can find that out by going ahead and dividing $174.45 by five tickets. And then we can also divide $271.95 by eight tickets. And we can find out if those are going to be the same. And I can tell you right now, they won't. C5 goes into 17 three times, carry down this four, and five will go into 24, that's gonna be four times. And for this side, if we tried the same thing, yes, it goes into 27 three times. Uh, we subtract that, we get 31, and eight will go into 31 only three times. It won't go in uh, four times. So we already know it's not going to be quite that simple. So those two equations are not going to help us. Instead, we need to come up with a couple of formulas. Uh, we have five tickets being sold. We don't know the cost of the tickets. And we have that plus some unknown fee, some unknown extra amount that we don't know about. And that's going to equal $174.45. We also have eight tickets that are being sold with an additional fee that we don't know about. Uh, and that's going to equal $271.95. So here are our two equations. Now, we don't really have to do too much with this. Uh, for this type of problem, this is a systems of equations problem. These two are written in standard format, which is just we have some value of x plus some value of y equals some additional value. That is standard format. We are mostly used to y equals mx plus b, which is y-intercept uh, format or slope-intercept format. But Desmos calculator, the calculator that North Carolina uses for their end of grade tests, uh, does allow you to punch in these exact equations into their graphing calculator. And if we punch those in and zoom out, we'll see that right around here, they tend to intersect. And you also might notice I replaced the, uh, the T at, for tickets and the F for fee with X and Y. So. We can see right over here, X is going to be the tickets and Y is going to be the fees. And if you were to click on one of those lines, this little point shows up. That is where they intersect. And we have our X value and our Y value, also known as the cost of the tickets and the additional fee that's being added on. So we now can see, okay, each ticket is $32.50 and each time that somebody buys a bunch of tickets, it's going to be $11.95. So we can plug this in, 12 tickets. Well, 12 tickets at the cost of $32.50 plus the additional fee of $11.95. We can type that into a calculator. I just have this one right here. Uh, we are going to get I think that's mirrored. Yeah, it's mirrored. But it's going to be $401.95. That is the cost of 12 tickets. And that's it. That's how you would solve problems like this. Just sim simple systems of equations.